Welcome to a quick tip. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can activate the content credential in Photoshop. This may allow you that you can um, upload your future items on OpenSea with content credential. I'm going to show you that for a minute here on um, Tom's Greek card. I uploaded this photo on OpenSea and we go, if it, this uh, section here will be automatically generated so if you open that you see that it's signed by Adobe and um, it's it's my um, it's a match with my crypto uh, wallet I'm logged in with um, in OpenSea and we can go to match we see that it's uh, verified here on verify you can check that so let's jump in first of all when you're in Photoshop you have to go to presets Technology uh, preview, probably in English, it opens a new window and you have to activate this um, uh, beta version of the um, Inhouse Zugangsdaten, the content credential. Let's hit OK. Then we have to close Photoshop again and reopen it, um, otherwise it wouldn't work. And uh, what also it's important, this um, to activate it and to fill it out, you have to open a file, otherwise it doesn't work. So let's open a file. And we go to um, Window, Content Credential. This is not available until you have it not ticked in the presets in the, uh, at the beginning. So let's open it. And you see that I um, already connected those um, handles. It's my wallet, my Instagram, my Behance, and my Twitter. And uh, you can add the producer and the edit acti and the edit and activity to your file when you export it, or you can choose, choose um, none of them. And when you are first, because I did it already, you have to do manage connected accounts first because you haven't done it. Then you can fill out uh, your MetaMask and uh, Phantom or Temple and your handles, your social handles. And when you did it, that's what I did already, then it shows up here. You just have to refresh, refresh connected accounts and it shows up. So um, we can have a preview here, how that looks. And um, it says now that I have something done on it. But however, all he, these, my handles are connected here. And also my, my wallet is connected as well. And now that all these details is going to add it to your item, to your photo when you export it, it's important that you go to export it to file, export, export as. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So if you go to media, export, it wouldn't add those pieces um, this content credential um, details to your photo. So here you have to activate content credential. It's going to export it with this um, information and you can check this again here. And you can set whatever you want here. You can add the copyright and contact information and you can do um, uh, to convert in sRGB, whatever you want. And we do an export. I call it test for the moment. And the photo itself, it, it doesn't change at all anything. It looks like the same. Also, when you go uh, to the details tab, it's actually all the same as we would uh, export it in another way. Uh, but there is one problem currently. You can only export it in that way on, on 296 DPI and not to 300 DPI. That's uh, probably a bit uh, a problem or might be a problem. I think it's, it's really a bit sad that it doesn't work. Um, however, if you upload, this I did that. I did this the same version as the test for the moment. I upload loaded that to OpenSea, and when you upload it to OpenSea, so here we are in OpenSea. I uploaded exactly the one with the added content credential, and then it shows up. It, con uh, it generates here a new a new tab, and it shows up here. So if you go here and verify, um, you see that I'm the creator of that. Um, photo and um, so here it all you have this information now here so i hope this helps and uh, you can try it out see you next time bye bye